Hi, I'm Danny with Mavermatic, and today I'll be showing you my custom screen masking controller that I've been working on for the last couple of years. What this system allows me to do is take my Stuart film screen. This one's 110 inches and it has the built-in uh, masking system built into it, both top and bottom. It's a horizontal mask. And uh, what I did was I took uh, two optical sensors, one for the top mask, one for the bottom mask, and then I placed uh, a little tracking tape and what I did is I just took a, uh, an illustrator, took a bunch of different uh, squares and evenly spaced the black and white. So when I printed it out on my laser printer, uh, it gave me different variations. And then I found the one that actually worked out best. In this particular uh, version that I have, I can count up to 70 ticks, which gives me great accuracy uh, when the mask is going up and down. Um, these are indiv individually um, controllable as well. So if I need the top mask to go down only two, you know, two ticks, uh, so let's say I need to go down to 12 ticks and, and the bottom one up to 10, I can do that with this system. As you can see, the controller board is in a very early beta prototype uh, phase. Um, it does have two toggle switches, so you can independently control the top and bottom. It has uh, four relays, again those are tied into the, um, into the toggles as well as to the pick. Uh, there's four hard preset buttons. That allows you to have a press of a button uh, to change the aspect ratio as well as uh, reset it back to the factory uh, settings, meaning you know zero everything back out. Um, it also has, uh, a, a, like I said, a pick. Um, I'm using a Dios uh, pick, which is by Kronos Robotics. They have a great system that allows you to easily program uh, and create devices like this. So check them out. They're at chronosrobotics.com. Also, there's, you can see that there's two sensor inputs. Again, those are for the optical sensors. And 110 volt input, which powers the uh, masking controller uh, and it powers the uh, rollers themselves. Part of the system, it, it also can control the curtains, so you can time everything accordingly. So at a press of a button, you could have the curtains open up, and then you can have the uh, mask go into the, into the state that it needs to. So if you're watching a feature film, curtains can open, uh, and then the mask can be set to, to 2.40, uh, and then have, have the, the movie begin. Another uh, nice little feature with this as well is that not only is it uh, hard button controlled, you can also do it via Ethernet, and RF and infrared as well. I'm working on, an, on another product that would allow video input, so depending on what source you feed in, into it, it'll analyze the black bars and translate that to the masking controller as well. That's a little bit far out, and I, if anybody uh, has any information or knows of how to, how to do that easily, definitely uh, email me and, or post a comment, and, and I'd love to, to hear your thoughts on that. But for now, the system works, and you can see I'll, pu I'll push uh, the first button, which again is 1.85, it's not going to do anything because the screen is already in 1.85. Now if I push the next button, which is 2.35, you'll notice that the screen is actually going down to 2.35, and once it hits the position, it stops. The next setting, we'll push the third button. This button will actually now bring the screen to 2.40 and stop. And you can also reverse that back out to 2.35 by pressing the second button. And you can press the first button, and that brings you back to 1.85. That's pretty much it. And like I said, you can manually do this as well. So using the toggles, you can you know, push the top toggle down, and that will bring the top mask down. And you can push the little toggle forward and now bring the mask back up. And all this stuff is in, in my dev environment, you can see the ticks. So I'll do that again and now you'll be able to see on the computer where the position is. And now you'll see that you're at 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and it counts up. And then when we bring the, the mask back up, it will go back to 10. And, my, and 10 is my zero point. Well, there you have it. That is my screen masking controller. Hope you enjoyed this episode and stay tuned for more. 
I'm Danny Mavramatis for Mavramatic.com. And once again, if you have any questions, feel free to send an email at tips at Mavramatic.com or post a comment.